Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well today. Well, we've been talking about hot topics, haven't we? We've talked about the tongue, we've talked about um, suicide, we've talked about um, uh, tattoos and piercings, and uh, maybe I've lost some of, some of the people that were watching this, and that's okay. I'm not here to, for, to ra uh, get a great to get applause and to get a great following or anything else my job is to preach the word of god and try to help you as you navigate the, your your life uh in this in this uh, this walk that we're in we're all in it together and and uh you may not agree with everything that i have to say but understand that it's coming i believe from what the word of god says and it's up to you whether you're going to comply or not comply it's between you and god but i'm going to be faithful to what god has called me to do Today we want to talk about gambling. Is gambling a sin for believers? How should you and I respond to gambling? Now, gambling can be any number of things, right? You go to a uh, a basketball, your kid's basketball game, and they do a 50-50 raffle. And you, know, you can buy a raffle, or someone who's selling raffle tickets or trying to raise money for uh, uh, you know, a school trip or something like that. Is that gambling? Think about someone who spends a dollar on a lottery ticket is that gambling is it is it wrong for a christian to um to go to a casino or or to gamble online or to go to the racetrack or any number of things you know you can uh, have uh weekly poker games or different things like that and is it forbidden in scripture and in truth no it's not uh, it does talk about stewardship. It does talk about financial accountability. We see Dr. Tony Evans said it this way. He said, "Risking money, uh, gambling is risking money in an attempt to multiply the money on something that is against the odds. And so, but most of life is that way, isn't it? You, even those who buy uh, stocks, I mean, they're, they're hoping that that stocks the stocks go up, but in truth they're not really sure, and they're hedging their bets and and they're watching and hoping that they don't lose money on the transition. But the Bible does not specifically condemn gambling. However, it does give us a guidance on how we are to use the money. Now we've talked before about the tithe, and the first ten percent of the tithe belongs to. God, uh, of your income belongs to God, and so uh, that other ninety percent is to be used for to facilitate the, the your your personal needs. The Bible does warn us about the love of money, doesn't it? That idea of coveting what money can bring in our lives, the things that we would do in order to gain the things that we want. That idea of covenant. Uh, it's one of the Ten Commandments, right? Thou shalt not covet. What other people have, we see that in First First Timothy six ten, Hebrews thirteen five, and so forth, and Exodus, and so forth. And so it's that idea that love of money. What's the motivation behind the gambling? Can we do it for fun, or is it something that we're uh, we uh, we now? Boy, if I had that billion dollars in the in the Powerball, you know what I would do with that, you know. Uh, uh, the Bible does warn us also about getting uh, those quick rich uh, schemes. You know that quick rich schemes. There's idea of of, of you can get rich uh, if you if you just invest in this. And a lot of churches have gotten caught up into those things, and people have, have lost their livelihoods because somebody comes along and says, "If you invest with me, I'll give you 15% return on your your uh, your your." investment in, in 60 days and we need to watch out for that we see that in proverbs 13 11 uh proverbs 13, uh, 23 5 ecclesiastes 5 10 uh, and so there's a standard by which we are to handle our money as believers we're to certainly give our tithes and offerings to the church we're to take care of our family we are to help others in their time of need and we are to save, as we see in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 through 11. Um, now, as I've said before with other things, can we do this to the glory of God? Um, can, we, can we buy a lottery, to the, uh, lottery ticket to the glory of God? Does it hurt our testimony for Jesus Christ? Would somebody be offended if they saw us buying a lottery ticket 
um, and so forth. And, uh, and that's the things we have to measure those things by. Are you in sin if you buy the lottery ticket? No, you're not. Are you in sin if you have a, um, a small poker game in your home and you're risking something that you, you can afford to lose? Let's say um, you, you normally take your uh, kids to, um, uh, or you normally spend money on, I don't know, something frivolous each week and you, instead of doing that, you're doing the poker game or whatever else and you're just enjoying fun times with the boys, I'm not sure that's a sin as well because the Bible doesn't specifically condemn those things. I think as, as in all things, we need to watch because gambling becomes an addiction, doesn't it? Gambling can hurt our testimony for Jesus Christ. I certainly wouldn't have a casino night here at the church, right? That's not how we raise money here in the church. I wouldn't promote a poker game party at... Um, you know, at someone's house, I certainly wouldn't do that. I wouldn't um, start selling 50-50 rattle, uh, raffle tickets in order for our kids to go to youth camp or anything like that because that's not how the church can, uh, is supposed to handle their finances. People are supposed to give their tithes and offerings, and that's how you handle your um, uh, you how to handle a church finances and needs and so forth. Um, so, all in all. Is gambling a sin? It is when it becomes abusive. It is when it uh, begins to offend other people. Maybe they they have an, a, a gambling addiction. It is when you begin to risk uh, the monies that uh, you could, you should be using to provide for your family. Um, and so, and it and it is if you if uh, based on your of your personal desires is that that of coveting that idea of. Uh, that this money is going to bring me lasting satisfaction. If I could only get those lottery numbers, then my life will be uh, content. Well, no, um, it, it is not. You just now inherited a whole uh, a different level of of troubles in your life. And so uh, it is really a personal decision between you, <coughs> excuse me, and, your, and, and, and the Lord Jesus and and you need to respond according to him and certainly watch your testimony. Again, as I said before, you know, just because you may be able to handle, uh, you know, minor gambling doesn't mean that your ch children won't have an addiction to it. And that becomes part of their lives. And you have to think about the effects on them and maybe with your unsaved family members as well as they understand that you're gambling and, and partaking in those things. Should a um, should a uh, a Christian go to these casinos and so forth? Uh, you know, I'm, I think that's kind of where you draw the line. I'm not sure you should be visiting those type of establishments, but that's again between you and God. Uh, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, "God loves you, and I love you as well." And I'll talk to you soon.